Hey guys, Brandon here. Uh, recently, Elon has tweeted that the uh, Tesla app is going to get a um, refresh to it uh, coming next month in December. I think he tweeted it in response to a um, somebody who had directly asked him on Twitter or something like that. Anyway, here's the Tesla app icon. And here's what it looks like when you pull it up. Um, now I have it running on Android. Uh, it's pretty much similar um, Android to iOS. The only difference is that um, in Android you have to uh, click these buttons to go uh, between screens and then in iOS you can just uh, swipe left and right. So I don't know why they left that difference there but there it is. Um, anyway, so this is the uh, home screen. Uh, so it shows a picture of the Tesla and it shows the picture of your Tesla actually so if you, it has the appropriate color, the appropriate wheels or if you have a Model X it shows a Model X. It shows you um, what the status is. Here it's parked um, and then it has uh, a battery bar with the range in miles and it always shows um, range. You can't really you can't set it to show like kilowatt hours or percentage or anything like that. It also shows you uh, the address that it is, um, which I'm not showing right now. And uh, there's also a little lock here, um, and that's a just a status symbol um, indicating that the car is unlocked. Um, I can't, that's not a, actually a button uh, to push or anything like that. So moving next is the control tab. And then here again, um, it shows you your car, the status, which is... Uh, um, unlocked so I can push the lock button and uh, I'm not sure why it there we go now it's unlocked and that's another thing with the um, Android version is occasionally you have to you have to push things twice um, yes I want to unlock it you can also honk the horn flash the lights um, and then there's the charge screen um, which I have it set to 80 percent right now which apparently is 183 miles uh, you can set the charge limit uh, just like you can inside the car um, and normally there would be a charge now button up here um, but it's already well here I can since I already have it fully charged I think it takes a while for the car to uh, make that change no, we'll keep going come back to it uh, here's the climate settings um, so it's a uh, translucent view of the car, which now they have inside the car as well. Uh, in the charge screen, they use a translucent image, and you can see all the seats. Um, and it also shows you the interior temperature here, which is 59 degrees, which is actually some. Oh, now it's 60, which is actually something they don't show in the car, and I kind of wish they did. Um, or maybe they do somewhere. Maybe somebody knows that. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, this is the uh, there's two ways actually to turn on the uh, um, uh, climate control. You can either just push the button, the adjust button, or you can uh, uh, touch the on off signal. And you know it's on when there's these um, blue and red arrows. Um, it doesn't tell you whether it's heating or cooling. It just has blue and red arrows uh, coming out of the correct vents. Um, yeah, so that's the climate. And then there's location, which gives you a map, um, which I'm not going to show because I'm home right now. But uh, if the car is moving, it also shows um, how fast the car is going, whether it's stopped, and it shows it moving um, in the map, which is really cool. So let's go back to, um, well, let's go back to charge and see if, yeah, okay. So I have my charging scheduled at home at 11 o'clock p.m. Now, if I had plugged in at like a grocery store or something, it would start charging immediately because it knows that I'm not at home or something like that. And then uh, all I'd have to do is click start charge right now and um, it would charge up. Obviously if I don't have it plugged in, that's not going to be an option. Um, anyway, let's go back to the home icon. That's the current state of things now. Oh yeah, there's one other thing on the home. There's this referral button which I thought was going to show me like all the referrals that I have and maybe their usernames or something, I don't know um, but it's actually just to send uh, referrals to people so that's not quite as useful 
because nobody I actually personally know is buying a Tesla right now. Um, anyway, so there's going to be a new update, which is long overdue. Uh, there's a couple of things that I hope they do. I think they can put a lot more on this home screen. Um, so, for example, the charge screen is almost identical. The battery bar is in the same place. So I think you should just be able to click on the battery bar and then have it, um, you know, be able to access the slider to say how much to charge and also a start charge button right there would be pretty easy and maybe even schedule like okay start charge like three hours from now or something like that um, and then the car itself I think it should be like like the remote is so if I double tap the trunk the trunk opens double tap the doors on the Model X it would open the doors on the Model S it would just unlock them um, I think that would be really cool um, and it also because you don't really need a separate um, area for all this um, and the other thing is, um, there's no way to roll the windows down, which sometimes when, and when it's hot out, mm -hmm. I'm approaching the car, I'm approaching the car and, um, you know, it's too late to start climate control, but I want to roll down the windows, get that blast of hot air out. Um, but you can't do that with this. You can open the vent, the, uh, the sunroof, but I don't have a sunroof to open. Um, yeah, and then... Things are, I mean, a little bit disorganized. I mean, there's a random unlocked button, I mean, icon over here. and So it could definitely be cleaned up a little bit. And then in, uh, oops, in climate, uh, I would also like to be able to turn on seat heaters and the steering wheel heater and all that kind of stuff from the remote. Right now you can't. You can All you can do is just turn on the um, air conditioning or something. So, um, yeah. So um, I'm not a graphic designer, so I don't know, you know, it's hard for me to suggest those kind of improvements, but I think it would be cool. Um, I'm sure it will be a lot more slick and that kind of thing. Um, the other thing is that it loads a little bit slower in Android than it does in um, iOS, and I think sometimes it, for some reason, it takes longer to connect to the car uh, with the an Android app than on the iOS, um, but maybe that's just my current car connection or something like that. So anyway, there you go. Those are my thoughts on the uh, Tesla app, and I'm looking forward to the new version.